The Epson TM-T88V receipt printer is designed especially for the retail and food service environments. To get started, we're going to walk through how to set up and enable DHCP on your Epson receipt printer. First, you'll need to unpack the printer and have ready the power cable, the LAN Ethernet cable, your router, and receipt paper. To set up your Epson, you'll first need to change the network settings by configuring DHCP. To do this, follow these steps in order. Plug your printer into the computer with the Ethernet cable. To access the printer setup screen, you will need to change your computer's IP address temporarily. You will be changing your IP address settings as follows. Travel here and follow the steps in order to change the TCP IP settings for your PC. In your internet browser, input this URL to open the printer setup. Under the configuration menu, select TCP IP. Change the Get IP Address setting to Auto and click Submit. You will see a message on your screen confirming your changes and the printer will reboot. Now, reset your computer's IP address back to its original settings. This will enable your computer to connect to your network again. Now, plug your printer into the modem or router instead of into your computer. You are now ready to confirm if you have set up the printer correctly. With the printer powered on, press and hold the push button on the back of the printer for about four seconds. The printer will print out the network settings and you should see the IP address listed up at the top. If the test receipt shows anything else, your printer has been successfully set up. If the IP address on the settings receipt says none, the printer is not receiving the IP address from the router. Make sure the ethernet cable is plugged into the printer and into the correct port of the router. Then press and hold the push button again. For further details on enabling DHCP for your printer, please visit this article in our Help Center. If you have questions or need further support, feel free to contact VEN's support team here.